bulletproof radio, a state of high performance. You it's possible to live to 200 years. Have you staked a number for yourself? Y- yes, I do. So my plan is to live to 200 years. Okay, it is 200. Because, okay. Yeah, 200. So partly because I'm a typical placebo guy. I, if I kind of believe in something and it's, it's called psychological aspects of uh, aging, then I'm going to I'm going to do it. And as insecure overachiever, I do everything to achieve this number. Uh, unfortunately, you know, all of the technology that we have today is it, it, what we've been doing so far. We, we were just avoiding early death on Earth. We were fighting cancer, heart disease, diabetes. We're trying to find neurogenerative diseases. But it was enough just to move like a statistical average of the lifespan. And I mean, we've done a lot. It's up from 35, 40 years, 100 years ago to 75, 80 years of average lifespan today. But we never actually you know, crossed this, uh, this border, this barrier of 122 years of maximum lifespan. And this is where technologies that we're expecting to be available to us in 10, 15 years from now uh, like gene editing and gene therapy, uh, organ regeneration, uh, longevity in the pill. Like we're going to see a new class of drugs uh, which are going to tackle and fight the aging at its core rather than go disease by disease. So it's going to be like super helpful for us, you know, finally to expand the maximum lifespan and you know, have an ability to live to 150. And then, and so this is near horizon of longevity, but to, enjoy that in 10, 15 years from now, you need to stay on longevity bridge as, as our mutual friend Ray Kurzweil say. So you just need to be, to keep your body and, and your mind in a state which is worth expanding its resource. And then it comes down to far horizon of longevity, which is going to be available to us in 25 to 50 years. But that's it's going to, we're going to be redefining humans by this time. Uh, we're going to be you know, heavily influencing our DNA, we're going to stop or even reverse aging processes in our body, influencing, you know, all 3,000 longevity genes that we already know in our DNA. And, and it's going to be a world of human avatars, human brain, AI integration. Uh, and we're going to talk about concept called Internet of Bodies, similar to Internet of Things. We're all going to be full of sensors. I'm full of sensors today. You probably as well. But, you know, people around the earth, uh, you know, all going to be interconnected to this distributed, you know, artificial intelligence run system, which is going to be responsible for our health. So that's, that's like, you know, three things, three steps that we need to take to enjoy 200 years of healthy and happy life. Okay. You dropped one really important piece of advice that I think we glossed over. And the first actionable thing from this, and I'm going to share what I do for it. This is a piece of paper. It says 28% on it. And it sits right here under my camera. What's 28%? Well, this year I'm having my 28% birthday. Because I don't think in years. That's minimum expected lifespan. I love it. And what Sergey just told you, there is a placebo effect. In fact, it's as powerful as a lot of pharmaceuticals within five or 10% of them. So if you don't tell every, and by the way, placebos work better if you tell everyone about them. Like literally, oh yeah, I'm doing this. Even if they crap over it, it doesn't matter. So you need to pick a number. This is the minimum acceptable thing. And you need to tell yourself, I am not old. I am actually this percent of that. And the cells in your body, I believe, will listen. That's part of how placebo works. The really stupid, really fast systems in the body that pick that stuff up. So you actually, you actually really do need to, to, to pick a number and make that your reality. And that's a part of it. And Sergey does it, I do it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the other leaders in anti-aging are like, this is my number and I'm sticking to it. And if you tell me I'm wrong, it's because you're dumb. And we go on. Look, uh, when I started to to do my motto every morning and in every evening, which is I'm going to be living to 200 years in a body of 25 years old man, uh, my life has changed. Exactly. Like every, imagine every morning I wake up and like three fourths of my life is ahead of me. Yeah, I'm full of dreams. I'm full of energy. I'm I'm so young in in kind of lifespan terms, uh, and, and I like it. My body responds to that. 